Here's how I got 10,000 scrap in Rust, which I used to buy the best item in the game. I tried different methods and found the easiest way to get scrap in Rust. Here's how it went. All right, 10,000 scrap. That's a big number. I might as well grab some scrap along the way. Every bit counts. There we go. Beautiful. All right, I've just built the base. It's fully done. Now, we actually already have 10 scrap here. So technically, that means we're only 9,990 scrap off of our goal. This is actually going to be more difficult than I thought. All right, I think the first method we'll try is farming up a bunch of barrels and looting as many crates as possible. And then we can run over to the outpost and recycle everything and see how much scrap we get doing that. All righty, first crate, five scrap. Let's get to farming. Now, farming the scrap from barrels was technically working, but it was super slow and it had a major problem. Oh no, oh no, please. See, that's gonna be the problem with farming these roads, man. We're gonna get taken out so easily and then we just lose everything straight away. So I moved on to method number two. All right, no scrap, but he did have a few weapons, which is good. Okay, not bad, not bad. He had a few things. I think this is working better than farming the barrels, dude. Ooh, he's gonna have stuff. Oh, the other guy shot him. One left, one left. Oh, and he gets the headshot. Oh my... Hang on a minute. Has this guy got World of Tanks Blitz in his inventory? What the hell? This video is sponsored by World of Tanks Blitz. World of Tanks Blitz is a free-to-play multiplayer PvP tank shooter. Join over 170 million players worldwide on iOS, Android, Mac, Windows, Nintendo Switch, and Steam. World of Tanks Blitz has eight different modes, some permanent and some temporary, which keeps the game feeling super fresh and unique. The fan favorite game mode Uprising will be available from the 20th second to the 24th of april and it features special abilities after each respawn it's got invisibility chain lightning and even time jumps unleash your tank's mystical abilities on your opponents in these nine minute encounter style battles world of tanks blitz features team-based gameplay with a seven vs seven cross-platform battlefield for you to dominate on it also features various unique gameplay mechanics like spotting ricocheting and even bullet penetration they also have over 400 vehicles with a wide variety variety of iconic, historical, and uniquely fantastical vehicles. There's also an insane amount of diverse customization to help you stand out on the battlefield. The game is also constantly being updated with events that feature immersive laws and even some new gameplay mechanics. Jump into the action and test your skills on the battlefield. Click the link in the description and download World of Tanks Blitz. And let's get back to it. I think he's back already. No! Although we were having some setbacks early on, I couldn't give up on my dream. I had to buy the best item in the game and I had to get the 10k scrap. So after running to dome and looting the boxes at the top, we actually got quite a few components that we could then recycle for a lot of scrap and outpost. And it looked like our luck was starting to change. What the, oh my Lord. Okay. We just got a bunch of DBs. Oh my god! That, I feel like I wasn't meant to find that. What is that doing here? Is there any stashes? Oh my god. Okay, not much scrap, but I'll take it. What the hell did I just find? Okay, we have 600 scrap. We're getting there. We have 9,400 to go, which I know that sounds like a lot because it is. But now we got a couple DBs. Maybe we can actually take out some people and get their scrap. I don't know. So far, it hasn't worked too well for us, but let's see if we can find someone. All we need is one scrap farmer, man. Come on. Ooh. All right. We got a lot of comps off that guy. And after running to outpost and recycling some of the components we got, that means we have a total of 1,039 scrap. We've already got 1,000. We actually might be able to pull this off. I didn't think we would. 
Well, I think now we've got a bit of scrap to play with. It's time to take things up a notch. This could actually be quite risky, this next method. Some people may even say it's a bit of a gamble. So with 300 scrap in my pocket, I ran over to Bandit Camp to either win a lot of scrap or lose it all. Straight on one, baby. That's how we do it. Let's go. 200 scrap. Let's go. We're gambling. That's what we like. That's a good start, dude. That's a good start. Okay. So my plan at the start was to keep betting on one as it was the most common number that came up. And it was actually working out. Yes. Oh my God. We're winning. Dude, we're cheating the system. But after a few losses... Oh, not the 20. No. Oh my God. I should have gone 20. I asked for some advice from a fellow gambler. What do you think it's going to be? I'm going all in on five. All in on five? I'm going to take your word for that. Yup. 405. You're putting 405 scrap on it? Yup. I've sat out here selling horse people money. Oh! Yep. I'm a rich man of the lambs. Oh, that was so close. Yeah, what was this horse farm you were talking about? Bro, okay, we got five horses in a base, right? Yeah, they poop your stick in the composter and you get like 1k fertilizer, which is 3k scrap. Oh my god. Okay, well, I'm going to try and gamble the rest of this scrap and hopefully it goes well. So I spent the next hour gambling all of the scrap we had on this wheel, mostly doing small bets and then doing larger, riskier bets with the profit. All right, well, I think I'm done gambling now. <sighs> and guys, I hate to say it, but I am absolutely up. I have over 3K scrap just from gambling. I've gone huge. I'm not gonna lie, I think I've been pretty lucky, but I need to get this scrap back ASAP without dying. I actually can't believe we might pull this off. 10K scrap. So I waited at the bandit camp until the sun set and under the cover of darkness, I got our huge scrap winnings back to base. The following morning, I heard a little eco raid happening next door. All right, he didn't have much scrap on him, but every bit counts at the moment. He did have quite a bit of food though, which we might be able to use as fishing bait. That's right, method number four was gonna be fishing, but I actually had to get to the fishing village first. What is that? Yeah, they're raiding right here. Oh my God. Oh, I dropped the gun. No. Oh no. Well, after that disaster, we had finally made it to the fishing village. I had plenty of bait and fishing skill, so it was time to get some more scrap. Cue the fishing montage. So after almost an hour of fishing, I sold all of them and ended up with an extra 863 scrap to add to our total. This meant that we were officially halfway to getting the greatest item in the game. And to celebrate, I decided to fight some people outside my base. Ooh. No scrap, but eight Easter eggs, so kind of worth it. Now it was time for scrap method number five, monument key card puzzles. And to start with, I had to get a green card first. Now that we had the green card, I was able to run over to Satellite Dish to get all of the crates and, of course, a blue card. Then, after a quick depot home, I took the blue card over to Airfield to get some more scrap. On the way back home, I stopped by Dome as I saw someone farming some of the barrels. And after looting the remaining crates at Dome, I recycled everything up and added the scrap to our total amount. 
All right. I mean, we're still 4,400 scrap off of the 10,000. I mean, we're getting there, but it's taken a while. I got to try and speed this up, man. But then I remembered what that young little gambler told me at the bandit camp. Okay, we got five horses in a base row. They poop your stick in the composter and you get like 1k fertilizer, which is 3k scrap. So it was time to start farming up resources so I could build my very own horse farm and become the richest player on the server. Done. I then returned to bandit camp to purchase some composters and enough pickles to feed these horses for the next 70 years. The horse farm was complete. All I had to do now was purchase a couple of horses from the large barn and just wait for the scrap to start making itself. Now, I'm not going to lie. I was scared that this wasn't going to work. I had spent a fair amount of scrap on just setting this farm up. So if this doesn't get us 10,000 scrap, then our dreams are going to be crushed. But after a while, we actually started producing a lot of fertilizer. And after taking all of our fertilizer back to the bandit camp, spending literally hours selling all of it, we had successfully gotten a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, almost 9,000 scrap. Oh my God. In vanilla, this is blowing my mind. Okay. That means we're only about 1,200 scrap off purchasing the best item in the game. We got to get this 10,000 scrap somehow, man. All right. I'm going to try and get this last thousand as quick as possible. I tried taking some players out, but most of them didn't have any scrap. I tried farming barrels, but again, it was taking too long. I even went down and did the underground tunnels, but it still wasn't quite enough scrap. Bro, this is not a joke. We are one scrap away from 10,000. So I turned to the last method, begging. Hey man, can I have one scrap? Please, just one singular scrap. Oh man. <gasps> oh my God. Oh. Oh my God. You just made my entire day. We had done it. 10,000 scrap in vanilla rust. We were now the richest player on the entire server. And now it was time to take all the scrap and go buy the most important item in the entire game. It's a piano. And if you don't know why the piano is the best item in the game, then I recommend you watch this video right here. 